Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a little bit of a longer video. We're going to talk about the UFC so far in 2023. How it's been? What are my thoughts? And at the end of this, please like, subscribe, comment. As always, I try to answer everybody's questions, concerns, comments, anything, and become a member today as low as $4.99. MMA Post, thank you so much for becoming a member. And without further ado, before we take too long with the intro, let's jump into it. 2023 has been a very interesting year for the UFC, honestly. You know, you have a lot of uh, releases and retirements. I think is a, is a little bit, um, I don't really, there's not a whole lot of releases. Like Amanda Nunes retired this year. On an amazing career, no reason to fight Pen uh, Je uh, Jessica Penay, Juliana Penay in a third fight. It, it just does nothing. She dominates her no matter what. Augusta Zakai getting released in March after go losing four fights in a row and then picking up a win is a little strange to me, to be honest. You know, you have like fun fighters like Brandon Davis. I know his record's a little weird, but. He he had he's had some fun fights, you know. Uh, Chase Sherman should have been released a long time ago. Uh, Dana Batgarel started out his UFC career very very well, kind of was pretty bad later on, and you know. Um, and then Dem uh, Demir Ismagulov was released in July. Darren Till, a notable name. Ed Herman retired with Zach Cummins, so very cool in that. Glover Teixeira retired. Ian Heinish finally retired. Jesus criminy. Jorge Masvidal retired at home, which is good for him. Um, Juan Esp Esp Espino, Espino uh, retired finally. Very old fighter. Um, you, you know, again, you got some pretty interesting ones like Mark Juan Americani started out his career very well. Didn't look very good uh, later in his career, as we all know. A Sun Sao legend, Robbie Lawler retired. Uh, you know, just you have fighters that some of them that had moments, some of them that was okay. I thought Omar Morales looked really good in, in the Chris Duncan fight. Unfortunately for him, he just wasn't winning fights, so they have to get rid of him. Tanner Bozer won the fight, but it was a very bad performance. I believe that fight just wasn't that good. Tony Gravely is one of the fights that I kind of question. One of the fighters that's released in June that I don't really understand because... He has a pretty exciting uh, uh, style for somebody who is a grappler. He's pretty fun to watch. I enjoyed watching him. You know, and, you know, Trevin Jones released is kind of a notable one to me just because I think yeah, I thought he had potential, but he just didn't really fight very well in the UFC. Now, notable ones, notable debut fighters in 2023. You have Bruno Fiera debuting, debuting in 2023 at ufc 283 yeah you got another ones like elvis brenner ufc 284 i believe he won a split decision and a fight that he probably didn't win francisco prado who just um uh finished uh, zardar finished him gabriel bonfim the bonfim brothers to both at ufc 283 um again just some fun fun fighters that debuted in 2023 you know trevor p debuted in 2023 which is okay you know and then you got a couple suspended fighters that will be back this year or yeah they're oh like carlos felipe is actually able to fight he was actually uh really um eligible to fight in april so i'm surprised actually not to see him come back and fight um you know ashley evan smith which i don't know how in the world she's in the ufc i actually don't think she is anymore alessi dos santos zaleski Osterine he tested positive for a lot of suspended fighters one two three four five Jeff Molina suspended because of the stuff with uh, James Krause still one two three four five six seven eight nine ten fighters suspended uh, in 2023 and a lot of them Carlos Felipe was 18 months two years two years 14 months one year it doesn't say the suspension for Jeff Molina. Two years for Hamdi. Carlos Moda is two years. Kyler Phillips was six months. Osterine. Darius Flowers was also six months. And he had to pay a little over $400. Doesn't really say. Oh, Carlos Felipe had to pay $4,200 fine and a $489 in prosecution fees. So, a little, little weird there. Had the Ultimate Fighter this year with, obviously... With uh, McGregor and Chandler and Hubbard won the lightweight. 
That's that's simply not true. <laughs> it says Austin Hubbard won the lightweight division and bantamweight one was Brad Katona. That's not true because Kurt Holobo submitted Hubbard. So I don't know why that's like that. But Holobo won the lightweight division. Cody Gibson lost to Brad Katona. Brad Katona it's a guy that maybe to keep an eye on if he can change up his style a little bit. That's why I think he was released the first time. Just not a very exciting style. Good fighter. Just not very... Um, exciting you know and then title fights notable ones we've had we don't need to go through all of them was the jamal hill breaking through against glover Teixeira, um is islam makachev alexander volkanovsky at ufc 284 very people think volk won people think makachev personally i thought makachev won three two just because of his wrestling i thought it stole moments and then alexa grasso defeating shevchenko when i thought she was down three one uh took advantage of shevchenko when she spun got her down and was able to submit her that rematch is coming up soon i do think that fight's gonna be a little bit different leon defeating kamaro second time in his career he defeated him first time he obviously devastated him with the head kick when he was losing easily losing that fight and actually i'm one of the few guys i think that thought usman was winning that fight i had him winning or at least a draw i did not have leon edwards winning that fight and then you have uh Israel finally defeating Alex Pereira, the boogeyman for Izzy. Cejudo coming back. Alda Aram Nunes retiring. The what? And then finally a new challenger for Brandon Moreno, Alexander Pantoja. And I thought Pantoja had won that fight 3-2. Very, very fun fight. You know, Zhang Wei Li, Amanda Lemos, Sean O'Malley obviously breaking through and defeating Aljamain Sterling at UFC 292. Very interesting matchup, and it played a lot less interesting. It played like, oh, okay, this is just how this fight's going to go. Um, Sean did very, very well in that fight and looked awesome. And we got a couple more uh, title fights coming up. You know, we have the middleweight Izzy versus Sean Strickland, UFC 293. Grasso versus Shevchenko, which is a fight night, which is crazy. You have Makacha versus Oliveira, which is in Abu Dhabi, I believe it is, in 294. And then 295, John Jones. Cap off the year. John Jones, Steve Miocic. It is going to be fun. And they're both, I would imagine, they're both going to retire. And as that fight comes... It's an interesting matchup. There's things I like that Stipe does on the feet. There's things that I like that John can do a little bit better than Stipe. Mainly with the grappling. There's things that I think John can do with his kicking. But boxing wise, I like Stipe for sure. And, you know, and this year to me has been really, really fun. Now, is it better than 2022? Very interesting. Because 2022 was a little crazy you know 511 fights 19 title fights 2023 is not over yet so we're not gonna know that yet but at the end of the year we'll, we'll for sure do this again we will talk about this but uh chaz scally retiring which i thought chaz had a lot of potential early in his career he had a pretty good ufc uh, record honestly again title fights you know or a debuting, you had like Fletcher, Andre Filio, you had uh, um, what's his freaking name, Kyle Borello, debuting on this on um, last year. Uh, Jake Hadley, Jolton Almeida, Jack Della Mandalena, UFC 270, uh, Mohamed Makayev debuting as well. And you also had a couple more fighters suspended: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 fighters suspended. 18. Also had the ultimate fighter, Zach Pawanga, Brogan, Walker, Sanchez won that one. Or, sorry, those are the runner-ups. Winners, Mohamed Usman, Juliana Miller. Jesus, just reading here. Title fights. Quite a bit of title fights. I think it said, what, 19 title fights or 15? Let's see. 19, yeah, so 19 title fights. Pretty damn impressive. Pretty damn impressive. You know, some so really, in, you know, like Cannoneer Strickland, fight of the night was Dober versus Green. Uh, Alex Caceres, Michael Olin, Olinchek, $50,000 each. 
You know, notable one was Till Duplessis, Edmund Shabazian, Chris Curtis, Billy Q, TJ Brown, Cody, Cameron Saman, Santiago Ponzinibbio, Tapora, Roses, and Rosenstruck all got $50,000. Then you got Wonderboy fighting Holland, Sergey Pavlich, Roman Delice, $50,000 as well. 2022 was pretty goddamn good, but 2023, there's just been something about this year. I don't know, really know what it is. You know, you know, yeah, Gan and Spivak is the one that is coming up soon. And Paris had a lot of out of the country fights this year. Um, again, past events, you've had quite a bit of uh, payments. I'm trying to see the gates. Let's see, Strickland, I'm Evolve. Uh, don't, it is not going to say what the uh, gate was attendance okay not attendance attendance that still does nothing either way 2023 has been pretty damn awesome we've had some new champions like we talked about a little bit earlier you know jamal hill uh became champion that's jamal hill back in ufc 283 that was january 21st 2023 very awesome. Alexa Grasso becoming a new champ. John Jones becoming a champion this year. Um, again, probably the biggest match of the year was Makachev Volkanovski. Hasn't really, and nothing else has really lived up to that hype yet. John Jones d uh, dominated Gon, so that doesn't do anything there. Pantoja breaking through finally. That's awesome. Sean O'Malley breaking through. His post fight interview I thought was awesome. Um, the way he's able to have that crowd in the palm of his hand was pretty damn cool but those are my thoughts on ufc 2 uh, for 2023 very excited for how this end of the year uh the rest of this year for the ufc goes let me know what fight you guys are looking forward to the most and as always subscribe like comment let's talk about it peace